Hi everyone and welcome to Inside Bristol. I'm your host Sheridan Nichols and starting the show off today we have Jeremy Stout from Parks and Rec and we are so excited to learn about this new program for kids that will help them have at least a little bit of a summer camp experience. Jeremy? Well unfortunately I was uh, sad that we had to cancel our traditional summer nature camps this year. That's one of my favorite programs that we do. Uh, but in honor of those camps, what we've decided to do are single day Zoom camp activities uh, that correspond to the theme of what each of the nature camps would have been each week. So for example, uh, June 15th through the 19th would have been insect camp. Uh, but what we're gonna do, uh, each of these programs are gonna be held on Thursday mornings. Uh, on June 18th of that week uh, at 10 o'clock in the morning, uh, there's going to be a Zoom program on insects. Uh, so for Wilderness Camp, we're going to have a Zoom program on June 25th. Uh, we take a week off at the 4th of July. Uh, we have a nature photography program on July the 9th. Uh, and then we're going to have a science, technology, engineering, and math Zoom program on July the 16th. So uh, each of those camp weeks is going to have uh, some program uh, that, that goes along with what that week would have been full of. And the best part about these uh, Zoom nature camp days is that they are totally free. Uh, but we do ask that you pre-register in advance at uh, bristoltn.recdesk.com. Thanks so much, Jeremy, for being on the show today. And you don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Inside Bristol. I'm your host, Sheridan Nichols, and we're going to talk to Kathy Loudermilk from Big Brothers Big Sisters. Here she is. Hello, I'm Kathy Loudermilk with Big Brothers Big Sisters of East Tennessee's Tri-Cities Branch. We are a youth-serving organization that matches community volunteers with kids in the area that just need a friend, need someone to hang out with, need someone, an extra, an adult um, in their life that can be a caring, consistent mentor. We are always in need of community volunteers. We always have more kids on our waiting list than we do volunteers. So we are continuing to match those kids and volunteers even through this pandemic. We are doing a lot of things virtually right now. So virtual match meetings, virtual interviews, but as things open up, we open up. So we will be continuing our in-person orientations and volunteer interviews very soon. So please give us a call if you're interested in uh, being a mentor. We always need good adults that just want to be a friend and a caring, consistent person in the life of a child. Our kids come from all different backgrounds. There's no specific details that they have to have. Uh, we work with ages six through 16. So we work with the, the, full, um, the full range of ages uh, for our kids in our area. Our volunteers can be any age, um, any background as well. We love um, all of our volunteers. We are always looking for male volunteers because we have more little boys on our waiting list than we do have girls. Um, but our female volunteers make up a majority of our volunteers, so we, we certainly love um, those as well. We start the process with a volunteer orientation. So volunteers just come in and just get an idea of what, what happens at Big Brothers Big Sisters and what's the expectations of a volunteer. Um, after that, we do an interview and reference checks and background checks and a little bit of online training just to get our volunteers familiar with our program. Once our volunteers um, do all of that, then we put them um, with a child that we feel like um, they would be compatible with uh, based on interest and location. Um, and we take a lot of pride in our matches and we take a lot of pride in making sure we, we make good matches. And on our um, child side, we also do interviews with our children uh, that want to be in our program and their parents or caregivers. Um, we wanna make sure they're in a healthy place and are right for our program as well. 
So we have two programs. We have our site-based program where we go into the school or after school program and they the mentors meet with the children there. So they don't go out in the community. They do it right at the school. It's a more structured program, but it's one it's our smaller program. Our community-based program is by far the largest of our two programs. Um, that is where the volunteer gets to go to the home. They work with the parent or guardian and the child. They plan activities and they go out into the community and do fun things. Um, it is a chance to show a child um, things that may, maybe they haven't seen before. And it's a chance for our caregivers to get the, their child out and about and, and do things maybe they're not able to do. Uh, we love both of our programs um, and it's just really up to the volunteer on what program they think is best for them. We also have a reading to learn portion of our program and it is um, working with upper elementary school um, kids just continuing that literal literacy focus and making sure that they remember the importance of reading even after that um, that K through two uh, period where we all are so uh, focused in the community. We love our volunteers and we love our kids. We always are open to applications, so we never stop the application process. So if you know a child that would benefit from our program, uh, please give us a call or go online. Uh, and if you have ever thought about being a mentor, if you've ever thought about um, really making a difference in a child's life, um, call us. We would love to talk uh, about the program. We are um, always looking for uh, good folks. We also have an advisory council that we, we look for uh, members for that. So we have a lot of opportunities. Um, we love to work with um, all of our counties. We serve five counties, so anyone in um, all five counties, we love to work with. Um, and we just, we just love our program. We love our kids, and we want to make sure that kids that need a mentor get a mentor. So that's us, that's Big Brothers Big Sisters of East Tennessee. Um, our phone number is 423-247-3240 and our website is tennesseebig.org. Thanks a lot. What a great message. Thank you so much for being with us today and you don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. Welcome back to the show and up next, we're talking to Mike Music, who's gonna tell us all about something we absolutely love and that is the farmer's market. Mike? Hello, Sheridan, and thank you for that introduction. Certainly miss you and the Inside Bristol crew and uh, being in the studio. Hopefully we'll get back to that uh, one of these days, and I look forward to seeing you folks. In the meantime, we look forward to seeing everybody out at the State Street Farmer's Market. Had a great opening day this past weekend, and in case you haven't heard, it's not exactly the State Street Farmer's Market this year, even though it is. It's just not on State Street this year. Uh, like so many other things due to COVID-19, we've had to make some adjustments with the way we do the farmer's market and that includes uh, changing location. So instead of being at our normal uh, spot at the uh, downtown center, uh, right smack dab in the middle of downtown Bristol. We've moved it back a block and we are in the parking lot at uh, Bristol, Tennessee uh, Municipal Building. Uh, City Hall to some folks, uh, the courthouse to others, no matter what you call it, the parking lot is going to be the spot for the Saturday Farmer's Market this season. Had a wonderful opening day. The reason we're doing uh, the market in that parking lot is to provide for some extra uh, space in between vendors. We're doing our part to uh, maintain and promote social distancing, so that included uh, backing our vendors uh, apart a little bit. Also, uh, is, um, spreading our customers out a little bit. We've got one-way directional uh, shopping, trying to keep uh, the pat uh, traffic pattern going a certain way, uh, trying to promote um, just two people at a vendor's table at a time, uh, allowing plenty of space. That's key. Folks can wear a mask. We're not requiring them to. They're, we're asking them. Uh, we're asking them to kind of keep their shopping trips quick. Uh, one of the things that by nature a farmer's market is, is social and uh, people uh, gather around. You know, we're trying to discourage that a little bit. We don't want people to just totally, you know, not uh, pay attention or say hello to each other and whatnot, but uh, we do want people to kind of come in make their shopping trip uh, purposeful, uh, get in, look for the stuff you want, 
pick that out. Uh, your vendors will assist you with that. Vendors are handling uh, transactions, and uh, and then uh, get your items and head home and prepare to eat the good stuff. Um, Try to keep uh, shopping trips to one person per family uh, if you can. Also, unfortunately, we got to leave uh, pets at home unless, of course, it is a service animal. So no Fido's uh, to the market this season. But everything went really well this past Saturday. Our vendors had a wide variety of items, um, everything from plenty of greens and onions you know the, the produce you kind of expect this time of year a lot of fresh meat at, uh, at the market had some eggs if you want eggs at the market you better get there soon because the eggs go quick um, we've got some of our crafters there on hand providing all their wonderful uh, items that they do and uh, plants we had some plants in the market so if you're still looking to plant a few things there's still some time to do that but come on out to the, the uh, State Street Farmers Market only it's not really on State Street it is in the parking lot at uh, the municipal building in Bristol Tennessee the courthouse city hall whatever you want to call it we hope for this season uh, that you'll call it your spot for the State Street Farmers Market hey we look forward to seeing you there well, I hope everyone gets out to the farmer's market. It's a great place to shop and to support our local farmers. Thank you everyone for joining us today and we'll see you next time.